Turn four and the trioval, where many a race has been won or lost here at Daytona. Pace car makes the hard left. Here they come, 18 of NASCAR's best. Ready to roll, and the green flag is out. The Bush Clash is underway. Ryan Newman edges ahead off two. Hamlin from the front to the back. Oh! Jimmy Johnson around. Headed for the infield. Calmarola and already received two shots from the back of the pack. He had nowhere to go with that. He was either going to go through Newman or to the outside of him. Lap one to Roush Fenway Racing and Ryan Newman. And the Coos coming through the middle lane there. Danny Hamlin already has picked off, what, four or five positions. Hamlin from 18th up to 11th in number 11. Now watch him just get the runs, get the momentum, and take it wherever he can. When he sees an opportunity, one of the things I like what Denny does on these types of racetracks is he doesn't let it stall out. Truex could not bring that outside line up even with Newman. Sits back there at fourth place on the outside. Yeah, well, I tell you, he's not sitting in any place. And that's Danny Hamlin again making another move. Gets a good push from his teammate, Eric Jones, from behind. And goes right to the outside of Ryan Newman. Or, sorry. <laughs> Hamlin's made it halfway through the field. He's to 10. Yeah, and, and look at how that move all of a sudden slowed the inside lane down and moved the, and shifted the momentum to that outside lane. Even Steven for the lead off two. Now you got five cars lined up on the inside. Look at all these cars, nose to tail, stacked up on one another, and all that momentum's gonna push those first. Truex Keslowski looking back from Keslowski at Boyer. Already seeing some good pushes that are happening, but we've seen where some of these bumpers do not line up very well and easily get some of these cars out of shape. Look at those speeds, Jeff. Four in the draft. Wow. <laughs> wow. We knew it was going to be fast based on what we saw yesterday, Mike, but that's even surpassed the fastest speeds we saw yesterday. Kyle Busch decides, I'm abandoning ship here in this inside lane. It's going nowhere, and so does... Uh, William Byron, he shoved, uh, moves right up in front of him, takes that hole. That'll leave just an Almarola on the inside. But what that does is. Positions. Hamlin from 18th up to 11 in number 11. Now watch him just get the runs, get the momentum, and take it wherever he can. When he sees an opportunity, one of the things I like what Denny does on these types of racetracks is he doesn't let it stall out. Truex could not bring that outside line. Sits back there at fourth place on the outside. Yeah, well, I tell you, he's not sitting. I talked to Brad occasionally, and he always... Interesting to me, he talks about that bubble of air. If you're in the bubble... Oh, trouble, turn oh, four. Oh, oh, One no. car hard in the wall, Kurt Busch. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Hamlet's made it. He's to 10. Yeah, and, and look at how that move all of a sudden slowed the inside lane down and moved the, and shifted the momentum to that outside lane. Even Steven for the lead, off two. Now you got five cars lined up on the inside. Look at all these cars, nose to tail, stacked up on one another, and all that momentum is going to push those first two to the lead. Truex Keslowski looking back from Keslowski at Boyer. Already seeing some good pushes that are happening, but we've seen where some of these bumpers do not line up very well and will easily get some of these cars out of shape. Look at those speeds, Jeff. 204 in the draft. Wow. <laughs> we knew it was going to be fast based on what we saw yesterday, Mike, but that's even surpassed the fastest speeds we saw yesterday.
Kyle Busch decides, I'm abandoning ship here in this inside lane. It's going nowhere. And so does uh, William Byron. He shoved, uh, moves right up in front of him, takes that hole. That'll leave just Newman and Almirola on the inside. What that is, that just spells trouble. <laughs> Those guys. And almost wrecked him. Ah, I told oh, you. Oh, there he goes. I told you. Did. I told you. Oh, my gosh. Checkers are wreckers. That boy's got a lot of talent. Newman found a spot in line that leaves just down the road at the bottom, and as you said, headed only one way. Now, now I heard something I never heard yesterday, and that was somebody. And up into the wall goes the 78 horn. He's got to make sure he doesn't lose the draft. I, I, I really believe these cars are punching a big enough hole. He should be able to latch right onto uh, that final car back there. But he was at an eight mile per hour deficit to that outside lane as they streamed by him. Well, that's the one downside to this package is when you're in the draft, you can't lose the draft. But when you're the only car that gets shoved out or, or in that lane, there's a good chance that you're going a long way back and could you lose the draft. Ready, Mark Truex Jr. taking him to the high line. You know, that high line, it's interesting because usually when they take that high line, it forces those behind that are a little bit content. Right now, you know, if you're second, third, fourth, you're pretty content to be in that top five. You've got a shot at it. You know that you still have quite a few laps to go. But look at Denny oh. Hamlin, one of those guys, never content. Boy, he almost turned that car around sideways. The unfortunate side here, the gap did not open up for him. He was hoping he was going to drag that 22 of Logano back, create an opening, then slide in it. And unfortunately, that did not happen. He's got a little help there from Byron, but maybe a little too late. Well, yeah, I think William decided, hey, may maybe I can get down there to help uh, Denny Hamlin out. But then that hole went away. Now, here's the run. He comes up on the back bumper, tries to side draft. So that car actually was pretty stable. I thought he got loose. He actually just made an evasive move to try to side draft the 22 to pull him back to hopefully open that spot up. Only an inch or two between help each other. Oh, and around goes a 22. A hard hit by Kyle Busch 10th and Truex 11th in position to assume the lead if that first group of cars comes to pit road. It'll be 25 laps to go when they come back to the line. Different strategies in play in the Bush Clash of 2020 at Daytona. Outside as soon as you can now. Last year's Daytona 500 winner, the man that will start on the pole tomorrow. Could there be contact? Chase Elliott. Wow. 